Winnipeg author David A. Robertson is having a very good week. The Canadian Council of the Arts announced today his newest book, On the Trap Line, is a finalist for a Governor General's Literary Award in Young People's Literature, Illustrated Text. We've also just learned a branch of Disney Television Studios has purchased the rights to the books in his Misawa Segwa, Sega, I should say. I spoke with him this afternoon about these developments. David A. Robertson, thank you so much for making time for us today. Anytime. Thanks for having me. First off, congratulations on the news of On the Trap Line's nomination for a Governor General's Literary Award. Oh, yeah, thanks. No, that was uh, really special to hear about that this morning. I was uh, really thrilled. It's a, a special book to me because it's uh, about my, my dad and I, really, and um, it was the last kind of book he read of mine, and so, it, yeah, it's just it's really important. It was really great to hear that it got nominated. You've been nominated before. You've won the award before. What does the Governor General's Literary Award do for an author's career? Well, it was really important for me. You know, when I won back in uh, 2017 for When We Were Alone, um, you know, it, it helped me to, um, you know, to, just uh, to get a few more book deals and to get into more schools. And um, it's definitely something that can help a young writer's career. Um, and that was just something that I really, you know, I feel really grateful for. And even to get nominated, you know, there's so many good books that come out in a year. Um, to be one of the, you know, the five finalists is, is something that I, you know, I, I don't take for granted. So what does it do for an author's career to have, like, Disney Channel make a version of your, of your books? Well, I, I don't know yet. <laughs> you know, I, I hope... Uh, I hope it's something that happens in the end. You know, it was really nice to have uh, the Missoua Saga um, optioned by ABC Signature. And um, I just, you know, I kind of have this daydream of just sitting down on the couch and watching a Disney Plus and there's my show on there. And, and um, yeah, it's kind of surreal. Um, but that'll be, I think for me, it's just like getting the books into the hands of more kids. Um, and, you know, the Barren Grounds and the Great Bear both have, I think, really important messages that, um, kids can learn from, and uh, that means a lot more to me. And uh, I'm really excited for the opportunity, and hopefully, you know, to see it on TV or on, on film uh, in the near future. How long has this deal been in the works that you've been aware of? Well, we've been working on it hard for uh, the better part of this year. Um, you know, the Bear Grounds had a really good year, and um, there were a couple of production companies that came forward that were interested in it, and. Um, we made uh, the choice to go with one that we felt really comfortable with. And it was from there, it was just like working out little details here and there. And, um, you know, it's definitely something the last two, two months or so that I've had to keep my mouth shut about <laughs> and just try and keep that secret. But it was nice to have it out uh, this earlier this week so I can just at least um, spill the beans a little bit. Well, I know your books do. Like, what is the message that your Masegua saga tries to, to put across to kids? Yeah, so uh, each of the first two books has, um, you know, for me, it's it's primarily about representation. So having, you know, Indigenous foster kids uh, as heroes is something that I think Indigenous kids uh, uh, really uh, is important for them to see. Uh, and also for non-Indigenous kids to see, you know, heroes of color. Um, but beyond that, it's just, you know, it's about the foster care system. It's about climate change. It's about bullying. It's about family connections and community, and so those those themes run throughout both two books. And um, you know, I think that you know it's used in a lot of schools across Canada already. And um, it's you know I've been able to do a lot of visits with kids and to talk to them, and um, and to see the kind of engagement that it's got and what they've learned from it is something that I, I really cherish. Is this going to be a series or or a film? Do you know when it's made into television? Yeah, so ABC Signature has the option to do either or both. Um, and what I think is happening right now is they're looking at it as a as a TV series. Um, and so I think that's the direction it's heading into. But you know, maybe one day down the road it'll it'll end up on the big screen, which would also be really cool. But uh, I think I think it's a television series initially that they're they're going for. Well, congratulations. And I, I was trying to make you kind of blush there with my, you know, questions about success or whatever, because you're having a good week. It's, you know, as, as weeks go, this one is uh, in the good column. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you're reaching a wider audience now, so well done. Thanks a lot, Jenna. I really appreciate it. Take care. You too.
With everything else on his plate, he's also hosting, of course, a CBC podcast called Kiweo that kind of outlines his journey into learning more about his Cree heritage. You'll find it on the CBC Listen app or wherever you get your podcasts. Still ahead, the Supreme Court of Canada 